BBC Radio Bristol. John Darvel. Here's something not to be proud of. Analysis by The Guardian has revealed that the River Avon is in the top three most polluted waterways in England. While swimming in the River Avon uh, has this wonderful connection to nature that many enjoy. But if you take a closer look at the water, if you were analysing the water, you may be less inclined to get in, said water. Our next guests are passionate about the health and safety of the river that they have made a film about it. And here to tell us about that film are Charlotte and Aggie. Good afternoon to you both. Afternoon. Hi. Thanks Hi. very much for coming, Sid. The film is beautifully shot. Oh, thank you. I, I mean, it really, both Charlotte and myself have commented on the fact it's gorgeous. Just as a piece of, of film, to see that countryside yeah. and to know where, it, you know where it is, I know yeah. where it is, yeah. and to know that you, you are literally, yeah. you know, yards away from the, yeah. the, 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 the grime of a city. Yeah. And it's like being in the middle of some sort of idyllic, yeah. Turner-esque um, piece of, you know, English countryside. It's stunning and you've captured it beautifully. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. yeah, That was Charlotte's vision, I have to say. And I think one of the things that the film does really well, outside of talking about the water and the swimming, it just shows the place as a beautiful ecosystem. That's a, that's a really important thing is to, you mentioned you've got a young family, daughter. I, yeah. I think I picked up, you have a daughter. Yeah. That to be able to take your daughter to somewhere like that, in yeah. a city, yeah. So she can smell yeah. and feel and grab and uh, and walk on yeah. something that isn't a combination of concrete and chewing gum yeah. it is, it is an extraordinary thing to be yeah. able to do and a resource that we should all protect. I think that the, the focus of the film, we say um, we had a big <clears throat> premiere event at um, Pitch uh, in Skyline Park in mm. Brislington and um, we introduced the film and said this film is about love because... It, that is what ties all the different um, moments, all the people that we feature together is just their love of the river and how much they inhabit it and use it and how important it is to them. And, and you know, we have people who, you know, one woman has fibromyalgia, so she does cold water swimming to help with her pain, people with arthritis, people who just go just to, like the... I mean, menopause, arthritis... Even with COVID, like there's so many things which people would tell us and be like, really, that helps you? I yeah. know cold water swimming helps yeah. a lot of women who are going through the uh, perimenopausal yeah. because it does just sort of shock the body and calm it down a little bit. Which yeah. is, mm. Depression you know, and anxiety, yeah. those yeah. are big ones. Yeah. And there's a lot of people I've met and, and there's, the community is so lovely. There's lots of people I've met who say if they don't swim in there, they'll go crazy. They need it. They just need it to thrive. And this was a great partnership that we had because my uh, filmmaking background has been kind of campaigns. I've worked with a lot of like NGOs mm. internationally. And so I was f uh, kind of following the campaigners. There's so much, so much activity, so much campaign activity for the river. People care about it so much. And Aggie came on board um, as, you know, creative producing and co-producing. And she's like, yeah, but what about the people who just need the river? Mm. And so we started looking more for mm. people like that and yeah. so the I think so much of the beauty of the film is a single you know a three minute scene where we just spend time with one person and they're just going for a swim and they're talking about how much they love the river and that's actually the one scene that people say is the most is that the man who's been sims in it five or six times a day yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. he's Cause amazing because he, he he is probably not tuned into Fergal Sharkey no. He is tuned into the river. You're yeah. so right. He, yeah, he he he's just tuned into the river and what the river means to him. So all the other stuff is is, is noise, I would imagine, to that man. You are so correct. The yeah. river, the river is his story. That's I, well, well done you, because that's a great that's a great spot. Um, where can people see this story about Conum? Because if they don't know where Conum is, and we've tried to explain it, you know, and it's almost like you feel like you're betraying a secret here a little bit. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> don't <secret> go. <laughs> um, <laughs> but where where can people see this film? Where can where can they get a, get a viewing? Well, we are very proud to announce that we've just locked down another screening on the 25th of April oh, well done. at the Bristol Aquarium Set of the Art IMAX Theatres. Oh, wow. And that's going to be at 6 o'clock uh, on, on Thursday the 25th. 25th yeah. So, so the, the Aquarium we, IMAX. The, uh, yeah. And the last event we sold out and to the point where we had to release stunning tickets because the demand was so high. So if you want tickets, please get on them now. <laughs> so that's at the Aquarium IMAX on the 26th, 25th, of, April. 25th of April. 25th of April. 25th of April. Yes, where do you Thursday. get the, through the Through uh, the Aquarium or through... It's, if you just search Rave On for the Avon, it should come up with all the details. Um, our website link is just there, so you should be able to... Rave On for the, the Avon. Yeah. Love that. Uh, rave, <laughs> rave On for the Avon. Yeah. Um, 
that's the website address thank you so much for coming in it's a I, I really love what i saw of the film it's beautifully shot it is a story of our time it t chimes into what we were talking about this morning that mm, our children need to have that uh, national trust saying our children need to have that connection with nature they mm -hmm. also need to use nature to understand what risk is because risk is so important in life it's you know without knowing what risk is you're you're going to struggle with all the the judgments that you have to make as life goes on. Mm -hmm. I, I wish you every success with this film. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing with us. Thank um, you, John. Um, Thank you. I, and um, Charlotte and Aggie, good luck with um, the, the screening on the 25th at the IMAX at uh, the Aquarium. Aquarium. Thank yeah. you. Cheers. Thank you.